Hello, I am Brenton Clutterbuck, or Dingo, depending on how you know me. I'm doing a project right now called Chasing Eris, okay, which is uh, all to do with this philosophy called Discordianism, um, which is, is spread all around the world. Uh, the main two centres of it, as far as I can tell, seem to be the USA and, surprisingly enough, Brazil. Um, so I'm going to those two places in this leg of my trip. I'm hoping to look at a lot of uh, how Discordium manifests in Europe um, across the next couple of months. But right now my main focus really, really is um, I, I'm focused on what does Discordia look like um, in those two countries, Brazil and uh, USA. And I'll also be stopping in Argentina for a little while. Um, uh, just just while I'm in that sort of Brazilian leg. Um, I'm not out yet. I'm, I'm packing. I'm getting ready. I'm still in Australia. I've talked already to uh, a, a handful of really, really interesting um, Australian Discordians. Um, Dr. John of the Apocrypha Discordia has been kind enough to, to lend me some of his time in order to uh, talk to me about... about um, uh, his, his wealth of knowledge regarding Discordianism and uh, a number of other people have been very much kind enough to lend me their time, um, which I absolutely appreciate for each and every person involved. Um, I've got a bunch of bits and pieces that are coming with me. I thought I'd show you a couple of the Discordian artifacts that I've got right now, basically just because there's not much that exciting going on until I'm actually on a plane and flying to my first stop, which is Portland. Okay, so a couple of the bits and pieces that I'm taking with me. I've got a Principia Discordia, of course, the, uh, the fundamental text of Discordianism. Um, this is a book that an, uh, a girl who is Discordian wrote, um, that it's not really related, but I'm bringing it with me. Here's some Pope cards. I've got a whole stack of these, as you can see. Um, they were made and uh, sent to me um, very kindly by a guy called uh, Malachi, who is very much active uh, within the, or I believe is, is uh, has a, a very major role in the Nebraska Cacophony Society, which inspired the society that I believe was partially responsible for inspiring Fight Club. Pranks during the conspiracy, okay, extremely, extremely, extremely useful book um, by Adam Go Rightly. I will be interviewing a number of the people who are featured in this book. Um, uh, which is all about Kerry Thornley, one of the one of the uh, fathers of uh, of Discordianism. We've got an eccentrica. We've got some books that I uh, I made. This is uh, to give away. They they're not brilliant, but they're tolerable. Um, and that's as part of something called Pay It For Nord. Now, Pay It For Nord is a Discordian gift exchange. The idea there is that you give me a little present, and I'll swap it over with you. So uh, you know. Here we've got some stickers that are part of that and some assorted materials, some of them from other Discordians as part of Pay Fnord, some of them from um, Malachi, uh, who uh, sent me a bunch of, of, of random stuff, um, as well as the Pope cards. So, um, you know, the first gift I give or I get, I'll swap some of, you know, those assorted bits and pieces for it, and then whatever you give me, I'll swap that with somebody else. They've already had some cool things go through there. Um, Glow-in-the-dark rosary beads, um, propaganda for the Temple of Psychic Youth, just some really random, interesting, surprising stuff. Here we've got some journalism books, some studying journalism that's probably not... Anyway, uh, Discordia, what I was told was the uh, Farting Gods shirt and the Hail Eris shirt. Um, apparently, America is really cold, so I might, you might not even be able to see them. You might just see me being really cold and wearing a jumper. Um, but those are by the inimitable uh, Professor Cramulus. Um, I'm really excited about this. I'm out in a week. Okay, I leave on Friday to America. I get to America on Friday because I travel in time, being an upside down as I am. Can you tell? Uh, please feel free to be in contact with me and, and keep an eye on what's going on. Um, probably the easiest way you can find out is by looking up Chasing Eris on Facebook. I have a page there where I, I rubbish on all about it and share all the stuff that I'm doing. Um, also, if you're more of a Twitterist, you can find me at at 
ch chasing Eris, uh, the, uh, the, anyway, you know what it is. Um, they're probably the best places to find more information and keep in the loop. I am Dingo, hail Eris, have a wonderful day, and I hope you finish this sentence for me because I have nothing. Ciao.